who, when he was reviled, reviled not again. When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judgeth righteously. So when you're talking about reviling, you're talking about being attacked, being abused, misused. But now watch what he says. He didn't turn around and do the same thing to them that they were doing to him. But he did something else. He committed himself to who? What did it say in the scripture? I I know to God, but what did it say in the scripture? To him that what? Him that judges righteously. And we know who that is. We know that's God, right? So now watch this. So in the challenge, in the, in the situation that was coming against him, when folk came against him, when everything was coming against him, he didn't come back against them. But he come and watch what he did. He didn't commit them. He committed himself to him that judges righteously. So watch what, watch what I'm saying to you. Watch this. You ready? Can you hear what I'm saying? So watch. No matter what anybody else did, he stayed himself where he's supposed to be. He didn't take what they were doing to him as a moment to excuse himself to sin. (laughs) Can y'all hear me? So what did he do? He did the only thing that that, that, that you really can do and come out right. And that is he committed himself to the one that judges righteously. In other words, Father, you see this. I am yours. I commit myself to you, and I know you're going to handle this situation because you judge between that which is wrong and that which is right. So now watch this. So if I stay with what's right, I'll receive righteous judgment. But I can let somebody else, because of their, their offending me, pull me over, 